this. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my bedroom. I hope you enjoyed the intro this week. It's an ode to It's Alive with Brad. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's hilarious. And you also should check out the main show it's part of called Bon Appetit. Both Andrew and I are obsessed with it. It's, it's awesome. Um, now that I've made something like that, that... Um, I am so excited about what we can do virtually as a choir, as our choirs. I hope you had a great long weekend. I spent a lot of mine making that It's Alive video, to be honest, but I also did get out into the sunshine. And uh, I got to watch my cat run around and roar like a tiger. So this is week one of virtual choir. And as I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to outline some challenges for you to complete this week. So here are your challenges. One to two exercises in smart music, whatever's assigned to your ensemble, right there on the first page when you get to smart music, you just press start. Uh, one to two pieces also in smart music or sent to you via a link because I've put the music in smart music. One band lab challenge, which will basically just be to record the first verse of one of your songs in smart music and then manipulate it, edit it. I've got some um, steps for you to follow and I'll also do a tutorial at the end of this video. And then the song challenge. So if you'd like to participate in the song challenge, this week's song is Bridge Over Troubled Water and I'm going to work on it too and I'll post it whenever I'm done. More detailed information about your choir's exercises, songs, and band lab challenges will all be in MS Teams. And by the way, I recorded It's Alive with Band Lab. If you're thinking, Ms. Landrin, what are you talking about? What is smart music? What is band lab? And how do I use them? I didn't watch last week's video. Not to worry, because I made tutorial videos for you and they will outline how you do your exercises, how you use smart music to work on your repertoire and how to use band lab. So here I am logging into smart music as Miss Langevin. Take into my account details page. So I'm gonna to go to the waffle and click home. You'll see here exercises and your rep. Click start on whichever one you'd like to try. Make sure you've got the right part. There'll be some instructions for your assignment or your challenge. Just some basic things. Go up, make sure that your accompaniment, your part and the metronome are all where you'd like them to be volume wise. You can change the tempo here and you can give yourself a starting pitch by clicking on this ear here. To practice before recording, press the green start button. You'll get a count off. And then you'll hear your part played with some accompaniment. You can listen or practice as many times as you need to before you record. This is highly recommended so you can submit your best take. When you are ready to record, press the record button and you'll be prompted to check your microphone by unplugging your headphones if you're using any. Once you're done recording, press the red stop button. Here's what it looks like when you record a song. Make sure you highlight the first measure and then hit record. You'll see almost immediately how I do here because the notes will turn green, but they could also turn yellow or red. I practiced. the red and blue button to listen to your recording. You can then decide if you'd like to delete, save, or submit your recording. You can switch parts really easily here if you'd like to challenge yourself. 
Smart Music is really fantastic for challenging pieces like Baba Yetu. You can isolate your part by bringing down the accompaniment, and you can even choose to hear specific pitches. In some instances, I may give you a link to a song instead. These are songs that I've either put in manually or that I've arranged myself. If you're having a hard time hearing your part, just bring the accompaniment down. Now we're going to take a look at BandLab. I'm going to go to Mix Editor and choose Voice Mic. Up here, you'll be able to adjust your tempo. You can tap the tempo if you're not sure what the number is. You can toggle the metronome sound on or off change the time signature, and even change the key. It's alive as an E flat major. You can adjust the volume of your track here. And when you're ready to record, click record. I am not recording anything. You can then manipulate your track. You can try looping it first if you'd like. or you can adjust the length on either side. You can change the title of your project up here and the title of individual tracks here. Press the M if you'd like to mute your track. I've added a second track here and now I can solo or mute either one. And now I'm going to play with some effects. When you're finished your project, go to File and download either your individual tracks if you have several, or mix down all of your tracks together for the finished product. It will take a minute, and then you can download your file. High quality MP3 should be fine for our purposes. Woo. We're finally at the end of the video. If you'd like to stick with me for a few more minutes, I'm going to do a short warm up that's going to help you get ready for your challenges for the week. Next stretch. You can push down with the other arm to get a really good stretch in your neck. Other side. Good. Ah! Half of my videos are just fixing my hair. Shoulders up to your ears. And down. And up. And down. Roll your shoulders backwards and forward my hair Ugh. do you see this Ugh. arm stretch side first and switch a breath in and then a sigh out Let's start with some easy humming all the way through your range. Good. Next, 
we'll do lip trills. Make sure there's lots of air behind that sound. And do the actions, because they help. If you can roll your R's, let's do a quick rolled R. This is our Zia exercise. This is our EAO exercise descending like this with all of our vowels staying really tall and on the same vowel track. Let's do me me ma mo mu with our actions. And me me ma mo mu. Me me ma mo mu. One more. Have a great week, everybody.